Kosmos. Ukraine will be able to destroy more targets inside Russia with U.S. weapons, the ban relaxed. The United States of America has allowed Ukraine to use American weapons to defeat any Russian forces attacking across the border, not just those near the Kharkiv region. Politico writes about this. At the same time, U.S. officials note that this is not a change in Washington's policy regarding the ban on strikes deep into Russia with weapons provided by the United States. Since the United States authorized strikes on targets near the border with the Kharkiv region, Ukrainian troops have used American weapons at least once to strike Russian territory. Then targets in the Belgorod region were destroyed, but Ukrainian and other European officials have pressed the United States to further loosen its restrictions, allowing Ukraine to strike targets anywhere in Russia. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said in an interview with PBS that the agreement with Ukraine on US strikes against Russia covers any place where Russian troops cross the border from the Russian side to the Ukrainian side to try to take more Ukrainian territory. It is not a matter of geography, it's a matter of common sense. If Russia attacks or is about to attack Ukraine from its territory, the only thing that makes sense is to allow Ukraine to repel the forces that are attacking it across the border, he said. Two American officials, speaking on condition of anonymity, stressed that allowing Ukraine to launch strikes on Russian territory in response to fire from anywhere on the border is not a change in White House policy. The move was initially considered only in the context of Russia's Kharkiv offensive, but does not rule out the possibility of strikes in response to other cross-border attacks, one of the officials said. It is not only the United States that has authorized strikes on targets on Russian territory using Western weapons. This decision was also supported by Germany. Chancellor Olaf Scholz stressed that Ukraine has the right to defend itself against attacks on its territory. Earlier, French President Emmanuel Macron supported the supply of long-range weapons to Ukraine for attacks on the Russian Federation. He also advocated allowing Ukraine to strike military targets on Russian territory from which the occupiers are attacking Ukrainian cities. In addition, permission to strike the Russian Federation with Western weapons was supported in Poland, the Czech Republic, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, Great Britain, Denmark and a number of other countries. не сгоревший а? не горел и а? связи нет ни а, вот дома на обратном пути заберем блять
пройдет? Не было вчера. Я вчера шел. Ну, пошли. Кули курить-то долго тоже нахуй.